Now in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the muscles involved in expiration. In the previous video, we looked at the muscles for inspiration and very quickly stated that they were the diaphragm, external intercostals, the scalenes, the serratus anterior, and the sternocleidomastoid, and the pectoralis muscles, major and minor, just to name a couple. Now in this video, let's have a look at those muscles that are involved in getting that air out of the lungs. So remember, Boyle's law states that the pressure of a container is inversely proportional to the volume of the container, which means if we need to get air out of the lungs, we need to compress that container to increase the pressure so that air goes out from a high pressure to a low pressure. So what can we do? Well, we know that when we breathe out, we compress our abdomen. And that's basically what we need to do. We need to try and reduce the volume of the thorax and compress the abdomen. And you can really have a good understanding of what muscles are involved in this when you actually do the process. Breathe out forcefully. First thing you know is your abdominals are contracting. So let's have a look at what abdominal muscles are involved. First of which, you have the rectus abdominal muscles. So here are the rectus abdominals. Now, rectus means straight, and you can see that these abdominal muscles are straight up and down. So these are the rectus abdominal muscles. In addition to the rectus, you've got the external obliques. Now, the external obliques, one external is telling you it's most superficial. Oblique means it's at an angle, okay? Now, you can see the external obliques here attached to the fifth, sixth, seventh rib, and in actual fact, the external obliques are attached to the lower eight ribs. So that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? So the external obliques are attached to the lowest eight ribs. And when you contract it, it pushes the ribs up and in, and what does that do? It compresses the abdomen, allows you to breathe out by increasing that pressure. So these are the external intercostals, uh, sorry, the external obliques. Talking about the external intercostals, I said that they were involved, that's, that's these ones here. I said that when they contract, they lift the rib below them, increasing your thoracic cavity. The internal intercostals, which are actually these ones here, you can see they internal intercostals, so they are deeper to the external, and you can see that they go in the opposite direction. The fiber runs in the opposite direction. When they contract, what they do is they push the rib down and in, and again, reducing thoracic volume. So these are the internal intercostals. Now going back to the oblique, we've got the external obliques, which I said lower eight, eight ribs that it's attached to, that's its origin site. If you go a bit deeper to the external obliques, you have the internal obliques, and you can see, again, the internal obliques, the fiber moves in the opposite direction, and they're actually attached to the lower uh, three ribs. And you can see here the internal obliques, also involved in reducing thoracic size by compressing the abdomen. Even deeper to the external obliques is the transversus abdominis muscles. And again, when they contract, compress the abdomen. Transversus abdominis. And the last one I want to talk about is this muscle coming down here, which is the latissimus dorsi, the lats. When that contracts, you can see what it does is it brings forward your thoracic cavity and again compresses that thoracic cavity, forcing you to exhale. So you can see that there are a number of other muscles involved in expiration, that's bringing air out, and their goal is when they contract, they reduce the thoracic volume, and they compress the abdomen to bring it up, compressing that thoracic volume, making the pressure inside the thoracic cavity and lungs higher, and that air is forced to run out. So you can see we've got the internal intercostals, external internal obliques, transversus abdominis, and the rectus abdominis, and the latissimus dorsi. These are the muscles for expiration.